that delay in getting a firm grip on Omicron's impact comes as we head right into the holiday season, an already stressful time for most folks. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joining us now to focus on the anxiety and stress the unknown is causing for some people. Absolutely. So the one thing that we can take comfort in right now is that there was not a surge here after Thanksgiving, but the uncertainty of this new variant has a lot of people worried at a time in history when more people are feeling anxious than ever before. Today I spoke with a psychiatrist about balancing that stress with the holidays. Here we go again. Another holiday, another time to gather, another warning not to spread COVID. Who wouldn't be stressed right now? Dr. Buren Patel, psychiatrist with Kelsey Siebold Clinic, says major depression has been high during the pandemic. One study from Brown University even says rates have tripled and symptoms have intensified as the pandemic goes on. Now with the uncertainty of Omicron mixed with holiday stress and expectations, it's more important than ever to take care of yourself. Touching base and spirituality or a mentor that has a faith-based background. Also exercise, meditation, and yoga can help, and pets. And I would try to limit social media and news. Dr. Patel's biggest message, understand that plans may change and be flexible, especially when it comes to traveling where changes may be out of your control. Always have a backup plan, celebrate to make the day feel special, even if it's with a small group, and be ready to change the topic if there's tension or disagreements. Maybe things that y'all can agree on, such as the meal, culture, music. Plus, he says, if you're missing a loved one this year. When that person was alive, what would they stand for? What were they passionate about? Sometimes doing those activities and, you know, keeping their routine going, it can also help with that sense of loss. And Dr. Patel has a special message for caregivers. Those of you who are too busy taking care of others, plus doing the shopping, the cooking, the decorating, he says to remember, you have to put your oxygen mask on first, pay attention to your own health and well-being, don't skip doctor's appointments, meditate, exercise, enjoy time with pets, or you won't be able to help others when they're in need.